three, two, one. Welcome to this week's edition of the uh, Melbourne Pro Punters Panel. Minus Juppy. Minus Juppy. But we've got uh, Ralphie here, and he's uh, sporting the um, MMD beanie. I am. So tell Hello. us about it, mate. Good to see you again, Potts. Um, yes, so punters, if you live in Melbourne, you're probably well aware about the mighty Neil Danaher's Freeze MMD campaign, and if you're in a state, you probably do, but if you have, if you don't, um, Neil Danaher was a, well, he was a champion football, a potential champion football Preston, um, who uh, who had one of the worst knees of all time. So he went down three times with a bad knee and he ended up playing only about 60 games. His talent was unbelievable. Can you trim it if you uh, if you want to get into the AFL a bit more, particularly if you know you're borderline NRL. Uh, he won a game just about off his own boot one day at Carlton. Became uh, Essendon assistant coach. He was credited with their with the strategy behind the 93 premiership. Uh, was assistant coach at Fremantle and then Melbourne picked him up, which I'm very cool, and now you do, in 90, 90, uh, 1998. And he turned the club around, coaches for a decade, went on to become assistant coach of the Eagles, uh, and all that probably doesn't matter anymore because what he's done for motor neuro disease, uh, as far as awareness and such a selfless act once he was diagnosed with this killer of a disease, has just been unbelievable. So this time of year, we wear the beanie, uh, and we, I, Highly recommend and ask everyone watching if you've found windows through the stuff that Pops has done, if I've found your window, DK, and all the other great guests we've had on, given so much good information, just get, get the Karma bus on size, go to the Freeze MND website, cost you 20 bucks, and put a beanie on for, for the great work in Yellow over the uh, past three years. It sounds good, Ralphie. I know that, um, it's a, well, well, I, as much as I know about that disease, I know that Ray Hadley had a big push to raise money in New South Wales, so yeah. a lot of our New South Wales viewers that are. Uh, really AFL fans and don't know all the good work Neil's done, be aware of what uh, raised and he sold CDs and all sorts of things over the years, all what the money's gone to. Uh, oh, I'm not, I'm not quite sure, yeah. I, just, I think he knew some people, several people that um, fell victim to it and yeah. um, he, I think he, re he knew the, the chief surgeon or a researcher, yes. medical practitioner that was researching into it and just wanted to do everything he could to raise as much money as possible to find a cure for that this horrible um, disease. So. Yeah, it happened to uh, take a mate of mine's wife as well, um, Andrew Stark. I don't know if you've seen Stardust work, one of the funniest men going around, but his, uh, his uncle succumbed to it. And uh, if you've seen, uh, I don't know if you saw the 60 Minutes one, well worth Googling and finding it, of, uh, uh, who was Anamir's coach who, who, succumbed to it, uh, who has yet to succumb to it, but he's, he's unfortunately tapering quickly and uh, they did an amazing story on that. So logic would tell you that eventually medical Research is going to find how to break this, but at the moment it's just a terrible disease. So, from a, uh, a punning perspective, or from whatever perspective you like, this is about life. This isn't about the uh, the battles that we do every Sunday. It's about life, and get behind your punters. I strongly urge you. But Neil is a great man, Potts, and you're now barracking from Melbourne. I just want to ask you. So, you, you, you've lived in Melbourne what 96 for a year? Two years in 95, 96. 95, 96, and now you're back here living again. My theory with, with Melbourne as a town, we're talking the pun, uh, past the trip. I reckon Melbourne embraces sport more than Sydney does as an overall, but I moved eight kilometres of my life and grew up in Port and I live in Hong Kong. Uh, well, but you've lived in both the regions, what, what's, what's your thoughts of that type of statement? Well, it's true. Is it? Yeah. yeah Mel Melbourne will go anything. It's right. almost like, I don't know what it is about you people down here, but it's yeah. almost like you don't like the homes you live in. So <laughs> you, ha you have to be out of them at all times. Yeah. And it's, uh, Melbourne, to me, seems like the city that rarely sleeps. Yes. Um, Sydney supporters, uh, sports people, uh, a lot more fickle. Yes. The team starts losing. So despite the great things that GWS are doing right now, yeah. if the wheels fall off at any time in the future, um, they'll have no one supporting them. Because um, it, it was, sorry, buddy, but it was, it was often said with the Swannies that it was actually so important for the AFL to artificially prop them up with, with, with some kind of support. Mm. Because Melbourne, for my whole life, or Collingwood would have their ups and downs, or any other club in Melbourne have their ups and downs support a stick. But that, the, the theory always was that Sydney people love a winner and they're pretty disinterested in losers. Yeah, that's. They just find something else to do. Right? Yes. I don't know if there's any truth to the fact that there's just more things to do in Sydney, so if something becomes less entertaining, they yeah. just drop off. But it's just not as tribal. It, 
when I was when I grew up in the uh, in Sydney in the seventies and eighties, um, it was it was all the suburban grounds and it was probably somewhat similar yeah. to Melbourne, but uh, yeah, it's, it's the, the two cities are very different. I was wondering too if about attendances is a is a big part. Well, I went to the footy with you a couple of weeks ago with uh, with with Rexy, and um, so I, I asked you. I said, you know, how much different does footy seem to you when you go to a game compared to being on TV, which would probably be all you've ever seen growing up. Whereas with yeah. me, I grew up seeing TV and spectators' perspective. And you said AFL is a totally different game compared to NRL, which what you see on the ground is what you see on the box. Yeah, it's actually I would say unless you've got particularly good seats, NRL's better on TV. Yeah. Which is part of the reason why people tend to stay home. And, um, you know, the only thing you're missing at home is the atmosphere. And AFL is infinitely better live. And, and you enjoy it more watching it on TV, I think, if you've been to enough live games. Right. I think, you know, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't really appreciate, all, like, a lot of aspects of AFL until I went and watched some live games. So, yes. Because the, the amount of running they do, you can see the play unfolding, Two, two or three kicks ahead, things like that. Uh, and it's it's actually impossible to show that on on TV because if you go wide enough, I don't know, you lose the quality of, of pictures that you, you need for TV purposes. There's no criticism of the broadcast. It's just how big the arena actually is and yeah. how, how spread out it is. And, and sort of where I'm going with that is that um, this freeze MND campaign, which the, uh, it culminates at the MCG on Queen's birthday, I remember Ed McGuire saying that it really dawned him in... in Sydney, that you know, I'm talking very rough figures, but like 100,000 people would go to the NRL collectively a week. Would that be pretty fair? 100, 120,000, something yeah. like that. But that that percentage out of a city of five million, as it was then, then compared to in Melbourne, 300,000 go out of a city percentage of four million. And then when you factor in that all those people all have a brother, sister, father, mother, son, daughter, or whatever, so it's a much bigger imprint. The people who decide to attend the game from the AFL footy compared to deciding to attend the game without real footy. So I think in Melbourne, you don't want to be saying to someone in Melbourne, who do you bear for? I don't, I'm not interested in footy. Even if you are not interested in yeah. footy, you're better off saying that you are. <laughs> Whereas obviously in Sydney, it's just a different type of culture. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, that's all I want to say. I just want to say, and do this, and then we'll talk uh, racing past two and three, but um, I happen to have known Neil Danner a bit through my Melbourne days, and now we're at the Salubris Kuyong uh, Tennis Club, and he's a member here, and I see him a bit. And I'll tell you what, Potts, if you've had a bad day in the punt and you come down here for a swim and we'll push a few weights and you see Neil also working out, doing his best, uh, it gives you a bit of perspective pretty quickly. It snaps you back into it and um, life's good, so if you can get behind it, I think uh, let's do so. So freezemnd.com.au is the website. Buy yourself a beanie and get the car on bus on side. Here, here.